Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, coming at you from Emmett's in Soho, where I'm joined by Mayhem Loren. What up, what up, what up? His latest project, Gems from the Equinox with DJ Muggs, it's available now. You know him from his role in Viceland's Fuck That's Delicious, where week over week, you can see him eating his way around the globe with his buddy, Action Bronson. But today, there are only two towns in the world that really matter, the Windy City and the Big Apple. We're here at Emmett's, one of the few places in the five boroughs where you can get authentic authentic deep dish style pizza to settle an age old debate. Where does one find the better food? New York City or Chicago? Now mayhem, your queen's till the death of you. 100%. I have some biases of my own, but I'm coming in this with an open mind. I'm ready to have a very reasoned debate. You know, I'm pro Chicago anyway. You can catch me in a Jordan jersey at any given time. <laughs> at a Knicks game, it's nothing. You guys have done a Fuck That's Delicious episode in Chicago. What's your foundation? What do you think of the food there? Nah, Chicago's a good food city. That definitely top five, possibly even top three. And uh, I want to say my favorite place in Chicago, we didn't go to on Fuck That's Delicious. It's the Purple Pig. Michigan Shout Apple. out to the Purple Pig. Any chance I get, I slide off and I get that turkey leg. All right, so here's the main event. It's the food debate that has caused black eyes and hurt feelings yeah. for centuries. It's the New York pizza versus the Chicago style deep dish. Bring in the pizza. Deep dish style pizza, all the cheese that you have in the kitchen, two inches thick, piled high with toppings. And while you might get killed, for eating a New York style slice with a fork and a knife. Sometimes with deep dish, it's the only option. Sometimes, but not now. Uh-oh. Right now it's me and you. Me and my man showing a chill. And if I was on a hot date and I don't want to make a mess of myself, maybe I pull out a knife and fork to pretend to be civilized. <laughs> but I'm chilling with my man. We're about to pick this up and jump right into it. Oh, it needs enhancement. Crush reds on everything. It's just the way I was raised. Takes me back. It's flawless. It's a beautiful thing right there. And that's a big deal for a New Yorker to concede that. People always want to knock Chicago by classifying it as something else. Nah. You know, everyone who rides for New York is always like, deep dish isn't real pizza, it's lasagna, it's a casserole. But think about it, if you're sitting down at a table, would you rather have this plate plop in front of you or this plate plop in front of you? I think that nine out of 10 people gun to head, if they're being real about it, if you hook them up to a lie detector test, would say this plate. I won't say that. It, it, it's just, it really depends on how you feel. Like today, right? I have a busy day, I have a million things to do. I don't want to eat this right now because I won't be able to move after that. Some days you want to put on Air Maxes, some days you want to put on a Gucci sneaker. They're both great. It just depends on how you're feeling. Many times I've been shirtless in the Thompson Hotel, <laughs> ordering Lou Miles, staring at the window, reflecting on life. The New York style slice, it's wider, it's thinner. You eat it with a crease down the middle. It's portable, it's light on sauce, it's heavy on cheese. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this New York slice. Now this one's from Joe's. Joe's makes great New York style pizza, but what's your go-to New York joint? Shout out to Danny's House of Pizza. They had a special semi-sweet sauce. They also have a pesto slice. Mm -hmm. I usually get one and one with an order of baked clams. Go to Danny's, sweet sauce, pesto, baked clams, it's over. As a New Yorker, what's the perfect slice? What's a slice that bricks? The main ingredient in a New York slice is 100% the sauce. Anybody can melt cheese on dough. It's what's in between that makes or breaks the slice. Here's to me what also makes Chicago pizza special is the leftovers are just as good, if not better, than when they're served oven fresh at the restaurant. I feel the same thing about a New York slice. Sometimes you wake up, put it back in the oven, it's extra crispy. You might even grill some peppers and onions and throw them on top if you're feeling fancy in the morning, you know what I mean? Same thing. All right, before we turn the page on pizza and put a bow on the episode, we have a little pizza bonus. You know, Chicago might be famous for the deep dish, but some people might be surprised to know that it does thin crust almost just as well. You ready for this one? So you never have to talk me into a slice. Look at this already. That's how you time it up. So here we are, boys. This is the uh, Silent Assassin from Chicago, the little known Chicago style thin crust pizza. Well, at first glance, you can see there's really not like an outer crust like you do see on like the typical New York slice, right? Cheese goes all the way to the end. Then you see it's kind of cut into squares. If I pick up a slice, which you don't mind me doing. Go for it. It's cracker thin, right? You can actually hear it crack. 
like a piece of matzah right there. Cracker thin, yeah. Mazel tov. Hold on, hold on. I feel bad, man. I got my man in the cut. Yo, Mugs, come through, man. Take a slice of this. They, they brought out the bonus pie. You got to eat with us, man. <laughs> Poor Mugs. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, baby. Cheers, cheers. That's how we break bread. Cheers. This is good. This is very like, you win a championship in Little League, you win some sort of basketball tournament, team going out for pizza afterwards, it's this style. I would say most pizzerias in Chicago serve this, and this is what we kind of grew up with. You know? So you just made that for tourists, right? Just gotta just, pay the bills, man. Just to shake down the visitors, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> they got me, I'm hooked. All right, table cleared. This experiment aside, is Chicago a better food city than New York in your opinion or no? Nah, New York is the best food city in the world. Too many options, too much to <laughs> offer. It's, Queens alone is the most culturally diverse place in the world. It's just no city can compare to New York. And you're hearing that from Mayhem on YouTube, so you know it's gospel. Gems from the Equinox, catch it. Fuck, that's delicious. You already know. Season First three's on the way. Sorry. <laughs> you know, you know I gotta jump in and spit that out. Closing together, man. The Chicago, New York thing. It's love.